Every day in nature, energy is being transferred. Energy from the sun is transferred to these plants. And then insects may receive energy from the plants. And then a snake may receive energy from an insect. An energy pyramid is a display of energy flow in a community. The different levels represent different groups of organisms and where they receive energy. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and Energy Pyramids. Let's take a look at an energy pyramid in a typical ecosystem. You will find producers at the bottom of the energy pyramid. Examples of producers are plants. Plants are autotrophs because they use sunlight and photosynthesis in order to produce glucose, which can be converted to energy. They do not rely on other organisms for energy. Plants take sunlight plus carbon dioxide and water to produce glucose and oxygen. Plants make up the base of an energy pyramid. The next layer includes primary consumers. These organisms are herbivores because they eat producers or plants. Examples are insects, cows, horses, and any other organisms that live exclusively on plants. The next level includes your secondary consumers, which include carnivores or omnivores. Carnivores consume primary consumers, and omnivores eat producers and primary consumers. Examples include frogs, lizards, many snakes, and many birds. Above the secondary consumers are tertiary consumers. Tertiary means third level. They consume secondary consumers. This level includes carnivores. Examples would include wolves, lions, and this hawk. Each layer of the energy pyramid is called a trophic level. And as you move up each trophic level, 90% of the energy is lost much of this to heat, and only 10% is transferred to each layer above it. If you'd like to know more about energy pyramids, this playlist will help, and as always, Moo Moo Math uploads a new math or science video every day. Please subscribe and share.